being hit somebody and leave. All new at six, a hit and run accident leaving a local family hundreds of thousands of dollars in the hole. The reason a pivotal clue has not brought them any closer to justice. And a contractor up and vanished, taking four homeowners money along with him. His long history of trouble and the one thing keeping authorities from making an arrest. Good evening, I'm James Newell. And I'm Wendy Ryan. Thanks for joining us. That contractor came with references and answers to all of their questions. Now several Ruskin homeowners say they lost thousands of dollars each to a contractor who seems to just have disappeared. And taking action reporter Jackie Calloway shows us the resource that could save you from falling prey to a similar scheme. What was supposed to happen, he was supposed to put a screen enclosure around. Lou Coppola should be sitting in the shade. He was going to put a solid cover across six feet. Instead, he's fuming over a contractor who up and disappeared with his money. We have bugs biting us. We're out $2,900 that we gave him. The Coppolas are among four Ruskin homeowners we found asking the same question. I just think it's a disgrace that he can keep doing this to people. In this Ruskin crime Facebook post, neighbor Javier Cordova lists himself as among the victims. He says he and his wife lost six grand to Brian Kumi. And we found this Facebook ad from November in which Kumi advertises himself as a screen room builder. And he was going to start uh, the day after Thanksgiving and work through Thanksgiving weekend. And that's the last I've heard from him. To build screen enclosures requires a contractor's license. We looked and Kumi doesn't have one. What the 38 year old does have is a string of arrests for trespassing, worthless checks and charges of obstructing an officer. I'd like to see him in jail. Brian Kumi's phone's been disconnected and we found he's been evicted from his last home. As for the sheriff's office, they confirm they've been investigating since last year. So what about an arrest? A sheriff's spokesperson responded. I can tell you that the category of cases you're inquiring about take a lot of time to process. Among other things, the financial and communications records take time to subpoena, receive, and then comb through. Meanwhile, victims wonder if they'll ever see a dime of their lost money. He keeps on getting away with cheating everyone. So the best way to avoid construction fraud is to vet, vet, vet your contractor. Here in Hillsborough County, for instance, you go to hillsboroughcounty.org. You can actually check their license and their complaint record. Also, always report unlicensed activity to law enforcement. There may be arrest and restitution down the road. And never hire a handyman for work that requires a contractor's license. Wendy? All right, thank you.